things you need to know about marketing this week. My name is Roger Gallegos. I am the founder and CEO of Weekend Marketing. This week, I'm going to be continuing my series on spring cleaning your marketing efforts by talking about the importance of updating your website on a regular basis. Now, it used to be that uh, your website was the central part of your digital marketing effort. So this was not too long ago, but the emergence of social media and the continued importance of email marketing has sort of split that up a bit. So uh, a website has often I, I recently been an afterthought, I feel, because you see a lot of people's websites uh, are either outdated or some don't even have them or they just don't have the good information. Now, in 2020, it is very possible that your website could still play a very integral role in your marketing efforts. It may not be the central part, but it could still be a very valuable tool as you promote your business. But in order to do that, you have to keep it updated. You have to take some time to update it. Now, this week, I write on my blog about the steps that you can actually take to go through and update on a regular basis. And because at the time of writing the blog and at the time of this video, it's the beginning of March, so I call it spring cleaning, but you could you know, do this at any time during the uh, summer, during the fall. I recommend uh, every three to six months taking a fresh look at your website, make sure that it's updated. Uh, you don't really wanna go much longer than that, but um, uh, if you do, it's okay. When you get a chance, just make sure you take some time to update your website. So I will include a link to the blog in the description below. But let's go ahead and jump right in to the reasons you actually want to do this on a regular basis. Uh, so first reason is you want to put your best foot forward. Now, what I mean by that is your website is the way your customers and the world at large could get a window into your business. Now they could do it by social media and email marketing, but if you wanna send somebody to a static place where they can get a bunch of good information, your website's the place to do it. So you wanna make sure you keep it clean and organized. The way I like to tell my clients is, your website is an employee that never goes home and a storefront that never closes. And so when you keep it updated, you're doing two things. It's like trading your employee and cleaning that storefront. So if you keep it cleaned and trained, it'll work for you 24 seven. So it is possible for you to generate money and revenue and leads even while you're sleeping with a clean and updated website. So you want to take some time to update it because you are just putting your best foot forward. You are letting the world into your store, into your business. You're letting them talk to your employee, your digital employee, so to speak, and get the information they need so they can make an intelligent and educated choice about your services. If you don't do that, they may look at your website and say, I don't like it and move on. But if they get the information they need, they're going to keep coming back. And we'll dig in that to a little bit later. So the first uh, first reason, put your best foot forward. Second, you want to keep your services and promotions updated. To me, there's nothing worse than going to a website and seeing promotions for an event or a holiday that already passed. Now, again, I said it was March. If you go to a website and you see promotions for Valentine's Day or forbid it, Christmas, that means they're not somebody's asleep at the wheel, they're not keeping their website updated. So for me, if I see that, then I'm probably going to move on to the next website uh, for my information because that means they're just not paying attention. And if I submit a request or if I uh, try to contact them through their website, I may not be listed because who knows if they're paying attention. That's me personally being in this business, but I feel a lot of people think that way. So you want to make sure that your promotions, that your services, the, the, the information on there is updated so go through and make sure that the, the offerings are updated particularly if it's a seasonal business that you do if you change your services for the season you want those updated on a regular basis so secondly it keeps your uh, services and promotions updated 
Uh, the next reason is any other vital information uh, is updated as well. So if you've maybe possibly updated your number, changed addresses, maybe added a new address, added a new number, anything like that. Maybe you change the contact information, you know, whatever it may be, you want the information because people go to websites for information. So if the incorrect information is on there, and let's say they try calling your number and it goes to a deadline or someone doesn't answer or whatever it may be, then they're going to move on to the next business. They're going to move on to the next website that did keep their information updated. So any information, whether it's contact information, an address, a, a employee list, anything that they need to do business with you, you want to keep it updated. And the only way to do that is to take some time to review your website. So it's very important for that. So the third reason, keep vital information on your website updated. The other thing that, uh, sorry, number four, the number four reason why you want to keep your website updated, do some spring cleaning on it, is uh, you want to understand what's working on your website. Now, what I mean by that is uh, I recommend taking a look at the numbers really quickly to see what pages people are going to, what they're spending time on. This will give you an understanding of what your audience is paying attention to. And that helps with, with your messaging. Because let's say people are really focusing on a set of your services or a set of questions or problems that people may have, then that tells you that's what they're really concerned about. So you can focus more blogs, more messaging, more infographics, more content on that particular pain point so more people will come to your website and will interact with it because that's what people are interested in. Conversely, you can see what people's not paying attention to so you could potentially stop that or maybe think of a different way, a different approach if you feel there's a market for that. So reviewing the data, the analytics for your website will give you some insight and to the behavior of people when they get to your website so you can make valuable des uh, decisions or important decisions as to what it, what you should keep on your website, what should you continue putting on your website in terms of blogs and other services that you may consider adding in the future. So uh, understanding what your audience is paying attention to and how they're interacting with your content is a very uh, a good reason to uh, take some time to review and update your website. The last thing, number five, is a fresh site draws attention. It draws attention from two crowds. First, it draws attention from Google, meaning whenever you do an update to your website, Google re scans it and they update their algorithm for it. So what that means is as you update your website and you put more pertinent information, like let's say you put a weekly blog up there, if you do it the right way when Google scans it, they're saying, oh, this person is really interacting with this problem. And if you, so that means if you put the right keywords and you do the right title, you do all those good SEO tactics, Google's gonna take notice, they're gonna bump you up the ratings. It may be slow, it may take some time, but still, you can get some organic traffic that way. The other thing is it draws attention from your audience. So again, if people are going to your website and they see that it's being updated, they're going to come back. They're going to say, okay, what does uh, what does this business have to say about this problem that I'm having? Or maybe if I contact them, they're interacting or they have uh, a, a bot on there, a chat bot that helps me with my problems. If I have a question about this, it's really informative. And they may tell other people, if your website doesn't have any of that, if you don't do any updates, there's no reason for them to go to it and there's no reason for them to potentially recommended to somebody else but if you have a website that's updated that's informative that helps address people's problems address their pain points people are going to keep coming back and they're more likely to recommend it to their friends and family members which you start getting more traffic so having a fresh site that draws attention that is probably the most important reason of all to uh update your website so that's it so let's do a quick recap you put your best foot forward you keep your services your promotions updated you keep other vital information updated. You understand how your audience is behaving on your website and a fresh website will draw attention. All those things are good reasons as to why you should take some time periodically to update your website, particularly now when it's the beginning of spring and you wanna do a little bit of spring cleaning on your website. Uh, again, in my blog this week, I write about the exact steps you could take to do some spring cleaning. I touched on them here, but I go into more detail on the blog. A link to that will be in uh, the description of this video below. So please 
Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about spring cleaning, about updating your websites. As always, like, comment, and share with anyone. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already uh, subscribed to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, also, in the description below, I will include links to um, my free 30-minute discovery session that will help you better understand how to promote yourself and your business. Uh, the catch to that is I give 10 free, only 10 free per month. So once you uh, get to that, once I get to that 10, I charge $97. It's a $97 value. But if you're one of the first 10, you don't have to pay anything. I'll include a link so you can get, uh, schedule some time for that. The next uh, thing I'll say is uh, there'll be a link to sign up for my weekly newsletter and some really good information I send every Monday afternoon. Uh, it's uh, It will just help you focus your efforts every week. Some really good, useful information. I don't send out any spam. I do not believe in that. I send out every Monday so you can sign up for that. It's a free newsletter. Really good, good information. So that's it for me today. Um, I'll be back next week talking about spring cleaning your email marketing efforts i'm really looking forward to that one that's going to be a fun one and an informative one so stay tuned for that again this has been week uh beacon marketing's weekly five five things you need to know about marketing my name is roger gallegos i'm the founder and ceo of beacon marketing talk to you next week you have a good one bye thank you